So far, we have come across several special files such as page.tsx, layout.tsx, template.tsx, and notfound.tsx. In this video, let's explore another special file called loading.tsx. This file allows us to create loading states that are displayed to users while a specific route segment's content is loading. The loading state appears immediately upon navigation, giving users the assurance that the application is responsive and actively loading content. Let's dive into VS Code and understand how it works. To create a loading state, we simply need to add a loading.tsx file to the designated folder. For instance, let's consider implementing a loading state for the blog route segment. Loading.tsx, where we default export a component called loading that returns an h1 element with the text loading. This file will automatically wrap page.tsx file and all its nested children within a React suspense boundary. If you're new to the concept of suspense, don't worry about it. If we return to the browser and click on the blog link in the home page, we should very briefly see the loading text from loading.tsx, which will be automatically replaced by the blog content when it finishes rendering. In our example, we only have a loading text, but in real-world applications, loading states can be designed in various ways. You can use loading indicators like skeletons and spinners, or display a small but meaningful part of the upcoming screen, such as an image or a title. The choice is yours, depending on how seamless you want the user experience to be. Just remember to place the loading.tsx file in the designated folder. Now there are two significant benefits of using the loading UI feature. First, by leveraging this feature, you can display the loading state as soon as a user navigates to a new route. This immediate feedback reassures users that their action has been acknowledged, reduces perceived loading times, and makes the application feel more responsive. Second, Next.js allows the creation of shared layouts that remain interactive while new route segments are loading. This means that users can continue interacting with certain parts of the application, such as a navigation menu or sidebar, even if the main content is still being fetched. By following the loading UI convention, you ensure that loading states do not obstruct the functionality of shared layouts, providing a smooth and uninterrupted user experience. But that is about layout.tsx for instant loading states in the new app router. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.